guys, welcome back. I'm Wendy Jo, and this is a series of videos that I am teaching you exactly how, if we were doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, you would start a business. And I basically am just taking you through all of the steps that I would take you through and helping you figure out exactly which direction to go and what to do to start your business. So if you haven't watched them yet, this is the playlist and we've got step one, step two, step three, and now this is step four. Did I say five earlier? This is step four. Um, so we did the how, I'm sorry, we did the why, we did the how, and then we did our um, business idea or our niche. Today we are talking about choosing a business name. This is a fun one. So if you've done all the previous steps, then this is going to be a lot of fun and maybe easy if you're creative. Um, it may take some Googling to figure out what's already been used and what you, know, what you can do and what you can't do. But now that you know, again, you know, last week I talked about, I keep saying last week, I don't know why, last video, um, we talked about um, targeting a very specific niche audience. Um, we talked about targeting not just pet owners, but Frenchie pet owners, or, you know, women who own Frenchies, or men who own Frenchies, those types of things. And so, um, I don't own a Frenchie, by the way. I own a chocolate lab, but I think Frenchies are really cute. Uh, so, when you're picking your business name, you need to think about a couple of things. Now, you're very niched down. However, you may not want to be too niche specific with your branding. And here's why. You want to leave a little room for expansion because as your business grows, you may not want to open a store here and a store here and a store here. Now you can for sure, but you might want to be able to broaden it just a little bit. So if you're targeting Frenchies, you may just want to try to think of an umbrella type name that includes dog owners, pet owners type thing. Now you could just be super, super specific. You could do Frenchies for fanatics, whatever. I don't even know. I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but you see what I'm saying. So you could be very, very specific. If you think I am only going to target this audience with this channel, then go for it. Like there's no reason not to, but if you feel like, okay, I may eventually target chihuahuas and labs and other pets, then you definitely would want to have a little bit broader name. So you need to be thinking of a name. And in that process, I also want you to, I'm going to put the link down in the description, but check on namecheap.com. I have a link to it because I can get you $5.98 for a full year of a .com and check and see if the name that you want is available. Um, I mean, obviously you can do different things. We have some that are .shop, um, you know, you can do .net, .org, but .com is obviously the most common one. So you wanna make sure to run your name through there. Um, and then when you decide on a name, buy it <laughs> and buy anything around it. So um, let's say that you decide on Frenchie Fanatic, okay? So you might wanna get FrenchieFanatic.com, but you also want, might wanna get FrenchieFanatic.shop or ShopFrenchieFanatic.com. So, you know, you could retarget people and they're still going to know it's you. Uh, so figure out your business name, figure out if you can buy the domain for it and then go buy it. Uh, and that is step four. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button as we are rolling out all of these little short videos on getting started with your business so that you don't miss any and you can be up and running in no time.